So, my third brake light was dead. Okay. And I had to take it out from the back. Out of here. Now, their brake light goes up here. But, for some stupid reason, Infinity decides to put the other screw in the back over there. So there's one screw that's accessible right here. And the other one you can't get through over there. So I went to go check to see how much it would cost to get it out. They had to go to the back and remove this top part to get into it. So I got smart and I drilled a hole right here. <laughs> right through there to get that screw up there. And so this is how it looked like. Okay, it's working now. This LED was not working. So I ghetto rigged it. And I put another LED just right across it. At first it wasn't working. So I took out the diode that they have right here which is usually the cause of dim lights or um, the LED is not working. And I replaced it with a diode with a value of 1N5408. They say that you can replace it with the 5404, but 5408 to handle more, uh, more power, more current. Um, the original diode is 1N404 or 1N407, I believe. And uh, that's usually because the dial is not working well. So I unplugged the harness also because nothing was working. I tested the LEDs without the connector being connected and the LEDs were working. So I double checked the harness, changed the dial, add additional LED. And now it's working. So this piece, I believe, I, I checked online, it was 150 bucks. And to get to that stupid little screw in the back was a total of 170 bucks. And I did it. The total of five dollars.